Good morning, I'm currently walking over Hale Street and ahead of me is Paddington. Today I'm going to be taking a walk right through Paddington to have a look at some of the historic places there. Very busy roads, uh, about 9 o'clock in the morning. So I think I'm going uh, east, or is it west? Which way am I facing? I'm going, if I'm going east, I'm coming from Roma Street. If I go that, that way, I'm going that way. Stadium. I've never actually been in there, mainly because I have no interest in sport whatsoever. But up ahead is an old church I want to take a look at. This whole area was the Brisbane General Cemetery. I think that's what it was called. Big burial ground in the 19th century. And when they were building Lang Park, when this whole area was being changed over, it became a dump for a while when the cemetery was shut down and they had to exhume the bodies and the headstones and whatnot. Huge cemetery. A few of those headstones are just up ahead of this church and that's where I'm going now. Such a beautiful little garden here. I understand it's going to become a memorial garden for Australian soldiers lost in Afghanistan. Uh, kind of strange though, because it's a beautiful little garden, as I said, but it's right up against the wall of the stadium. It's rather surreal, actually. I mean, all that, all that noise, all that traffic, literally surrounding where I am, and right here, there's this little oasis of relative quiet and calm. If you haven't been here, you should come on down and have a look. It's actually kind of nice, it's raining today, it feels, I don't know, cosy. Today's one of those very muggy, grey, wet, still Brisbane days. Don't like it. I know. It's very dead weather. The size of this stadium. Gee, I wish I liked sport. Looks like he's fallen into quicksand. That place across the road, Therapy Solutions, used to be, many years ago, the best video store in Brisbane. I used to come here many, many times, rented out thousands of movies, I think. They had the best selection, without question. I got a photo of me on the final day the video store was open, holding a bunch of cheaply bought ex-rentals. Here's a local landmark, the Paddo Tavern.
the original Paddington Hotel was demolished years ago to make way for this current one, built on the same site. It's really humid. Here says Embassy Cellars used to be a Commonwealth Bank. great things about Paddington is that so many of the old houses and buildings and shops and whatnot are still here you know, the buildings are still here um, they've changed hands many many times but it's just beautiful walking along here and you can these places are really in good condition and it's one after the other it's not just here and there I mean looking across the road old houses that are still there they're businesses now Councillor Peter Matic, Councillor Automatic. So this whole area here used to be the Shire of Ithaca. And before that it was the town of Ithaca, or it's the other way around. But it was in the 19th century, up until the early 20th century, everything was amalgamated into Brisbane. But this was an actual different town, a different shire, it wasn't part of Brisbane. And it says on there, the Ithaca War Memorial. We're very, very high up here. Um, you can see out there. Looks like the weather is closing in again. And I think the old town hall was that way. I go and have a look. So many beautiful old buildings here. Well, not that one. All right, it's definitely starting to rain now. I'll see if I brought an umbrella. A lot of spiders here. Ooh, that's a big one. Bloody hell. Why are there so many spiders in the Paddington area? I've never been able to figure that out. Nice little shop. That's better. Wow.
As you can see behind me, that's the Red Hill Cinemas. That was originally a cinema house probably about 100 years ago or something. It then became, in the 1960s, in the mid-60s, briefly a place for rock and roll concerts, and the Bee Gees played there. And then it became a skating rink, and then it burnt down, and it was a ruin for many years. It's kind of cool that it's a cinema again. And this is it here, the Ithaca Hall. This used to be the, the council offices for the town and shire of Ithaca. This here is Bizzle's Garage, and I think it's been here since around about the time cars were first invented. And just around the corner from the garage is Paddington Central Shopping Centre. Now the land that this shopping centre is built on was originally the site of a corroboree. Aborigines used to come down from Mount Kutha and hold those ceremonies here. But what this piece of ground is most famous for was the site of a 1962 fire that destroyed the tram workshop that was here. So many trams were destroyed, it was about 20% of the fleet of trams in Brisbane, and it pretty much spelled the death knell of tram transportation in Brisbane. Right here is the site where the huge inferno was. I really don't think I've seen so many man bums in all my life. Every third guy here's got one. And now I'm coming up on the, what is it, Empire Revival. It's an antique centre, but this used to be a massive cinema. Let's go in and have a look. fascinating place in here. Oh, I didn't even know this downstairs area was here. It's a little nooks and crannies all over the place.
I've travelled quite high up the Trobe Terrace and just across the road there is an old church. In fact, it's the oldest church in Paddington, uh, dating from 1886. Well, it's pouring rain, but that doesn't matter because not every walk can be bright and sunny. Rain happens. It's really tipping down now. I'm on Fernberg Road here and just behind those trees is the home of the Governor of Queensland. These here are the grounds of Government House on Fernberg and I can tell you that foxes live here. In the past, I, uh, a long time ago, I used to live just down there on Beck Street and, oh, I thought that was a snake. And I've seen foxes at night, they'd come running out of this big uh, area here. So I've just gone past Fernberg House and I'm on my way to Rosalie. Rosalie used to be a suburb in its own right, but in 1975, I think it was, it became part of Paddington and it's just round here to the right. So I'm gonna have a quick look there. And I've gotta get something to eat, I'm hungry. Didn't bring lunch this time, but I don't think I need to because there's a cafe on literally every street corner here. That's nice. What do you think of that? And here we are, welcome to Rosalie. Well, that was a very nice lunch at the smoked paprika. Highly recommend it in Rosalie. I'm going to go and find now the oldest inhabited house in Brisbane. I think it's that way. It's at number 23 Fernberg Road. I was on Fernberg before, I just left it to get some lunch. Now I'm back on it again. Now that the sun's out, it's quite steamy. And I'm walking uphill. A little bit of a breeze, that's nice. I'll see what the temperature is. Hey Siri, uh -huh. what's the temperature? It's 24 degrees right now. Oh, much cooler than I thought it was. It feels hotter. I think it's because of the humidity. The spiders. Actually, this is mildly interesting. Directly Beneath where I'm standing is the Legacy Way. It's that tunnel that goes out towards the, the Western Highway. Um, it's right right there. According to the according to my phone, yeah, the Legacy Way is directly under under here. So which way am I facing? So it's probably going that way. I think it begins on the um, inner city bypass and then goes out to the Great Western is that what it's called? That that highway that sort of leads you out to the Ipswich Highway, Ipswich Motorway. So I'm on Guthrie now. come to Paddington and not stop by the Paddo Tavern and have a beer. So there we go. Cheers. Thanks for watching.